We start by putting x plus y is equal to z. Taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x, we get 1 plus dy upon dx is equal to dz upon dx, which implies that dy upon dx is equal to dz upon dx minus 1. Therefore, the given differential equation becomes z minus a divided by z minus b times in brackets dz upon dx minus 1 is equal to z plus a divided by z plus b. Therefore, dz upon dx is equal to 1 plus z plus a times z minus b divided by z minus a times z plus b. The right hand side is equal to z minus a times z plus b plus z plus a times z minus b divided by z minus a times z plus b. This is equal to z square plus bz minus az minus ab plus z square minus bz plus az minus ab divided by z minus a times z plus b. In the numerator, a couple of terms cancel out and therefore the right hand side is equal to 2 times in brackets z square minus ab divided by z minus a times z plus b. And this is equal to the left hand side which is equal to dz upon dx. Separating the variables, this becomes z minus a times z plus b divided by z square minus ab dz is equal to 2dx. Integrating both sides and introducing the constant of integration plus c on the right hand side. The right hand side is equal to 2x plus c. On the left hand side, the numerator in the integrand can be written as z square minus ab plus z times in brackets b minus a. Therefore, we get integral of 1 plus b minus a times z divided by z square minus ab dz is equal to 2x plus c, which implies that z plus b minus a upon 2 times ln of z square minus ab is equal to 2x plus c. Replacing z with x plus y, we get b minus a upon 2 times ln of z square minus ab is equal to 2x plus c minus in brackets x plus y. The right hand side simplifies and is equal to x minus y plus c. This implies that 2 times x minus y plus c is equal to b minus a times ln of z square or x plus y whole square minus ab, which is the required solution of the given differential equation.